Hello everyone, we are back and as you can see, Lord Brugan is living it up, just sitting around <sighs> doing nothing. <laughs> and being a total jerk, as usual. I trying to warn you, huh? Well, it's too late. Cornelius is already here. I don't bow to him. There's no use reasoning with um, Cornelius. He will never let you borrow that horn of his. Well, you know, we're not going to trade it for anything, Lord Brigham. We will take it from you by force. Alright, nothing new with Lord Brigham. He just wants to rip Cornelius' fur off. Yeah, absolutely. And we're just going to use Painkiller and, you know, the usual stuff. We'll use the Unlimited Pow. Just now on this side, unlimited bow, and maybe even fire spirit. So I don't know if we're gonna do any good, but we'll give it a shot. Hey, Lord Brigan, we're taking your chest plates off, and I'm surprised it's not coming off with your nipple because you've been sitting on the ground so much, doing nothing. It's probably like, you know, kind of suction cups into your skin, maybe, with all the sweat and everything. <laughs> From uh, you're in a you know just sitting around and eating and probably sweating even though you're just you're just sitting around just I don't know some people might sweat when they eat I don't know I do maybe he was eating hot food and he <laughs> just perspired a lot or perspired had a lot of perspiration <laughs> but uh, yeah we have to deal with these enemies too but it's not um. It might have helped to have Blizzard here, uh, and I don't think you would find too many of the accused beings, but I could be. Well, it's not a high probability. Characters are the ones that you get a lot in Nebulopolis. Oh, you, you, you Valkyries! Wasting my time with your shenanigans trying to get those chest plates on, but it's too late! Uh, at least Cornelius is alright, he got dizzy, but hey, we beat him. And we're going back successfully, but, but Gwendolyn doesn't look very happy right now. <laughs> oh well, at least Odin seems alright with this. Well, I would assume he would be because because uh, Lord Brigan is definitely not a friend of his, but I guess he just keeps him around because he uh, just ha- I don't know, it's- he, he can't stand the guy, but he does keep things interesting. I mean, as long as he doesn't, you know, do anything to kick him off his throne or anything, but of course that would never happen. Then let's go, Cornelius. We have you know, strayed too long. Yes, more time spent with Gwendolyn. <laughs> Odin's always just leaning on his, on his fist, and it's like he always looks so depressed. Yes, yeah, so Gwendolyn, the only one who believed in us. <laughs> I wonder how long it actually took for him to get out of the netherworld and, and uh, you know, all this stuff. I, I don't know, the netherworld seemed like it would take a while, but, you know, if it was actually in real time. But I'm gonna save here and I'll be right back. Yes! Hello, good sir! Well, he does look very, uh, he looks like a frustrated king that just doesn't know what to do. He's being, well, 
misled by the sorcerer, but well, what are you gonna do? Yeah, so you're gonna have to fight the sorcerer and the sorcerer. Oh no, someone's ruining your reputation, Cornelius. Who would never be like that? Yeah, of course. How else is people spotting you in bad areas? Well, I don't know. Should I talk? What, what do you say? Thing interesting? Well, I, you know that's too bad. But maybe I, I don't think I'm gonna buy anything from you. Uh, I wouldn't bother with a small bag yet. It's tempting, but it's just, you know, you can, you can wait. You can do your best to get through all the stuff that you get. You know, grow seeds, eat stuff, you know, combine stuff in alchemy. You should be fine. We'll just wait for a better bag to come along. Well, uh, no, oh my goodness, another shop? Oh, no wonder you're not getting any business. Oh, I guess. Yeah, I guess it wouldn't be the best part of the town. I mean, you see those um, <laughs> raggedy clothes hanging on there. <laughs> but yeah, I don't know. Um, they, he does have different stuff, so at least he's not a copycat. But uh, yeah, I just don't feel like buying anything. But I figured I might as well show that, and if you wanted to. If you want to know what they have, that might help you out. Anyways, let's go to... Well, I'm guessing we're gonna go to the castle where his father is, so let's go. Oh, it would be fun if he actually got to play him trying to sneak in, actually. But that would involve more than just going around in a circle, I'm sure. And I want to be the part, you know, the way the game is. Yeah, because hold yourself there, Cornelius. You know, it's never good to ask unrationally. Okay, haven't you heard the rumors? I mean, I'm sure- well, actually, you're just- you're probably just so out of the loop. Oh no! Which- wait, he's an Odin star, didn't he? He didn't say- Maybe it's Griselda, because- I'm sure Odin would offer his older, his old eldest daughter. Um, I that seems to make sense. Okay, fine. Um, don't, don't you know your own son? I mean, what? Oh my goodness. He's not gonna listen to you. You could, you should have stayed over there. ヨーカツモトユーノだな。タバカルでない着物よ。家を捨てると言って飛び出した。あの時より私は変わってしまった。なぜそれを? It's no use, Cornelius. Just stop it right now. This guy, yeah, I know he's a father, but he just... I don't think you can make him believe. He's already has somebody always by himself giving him bad, bad advice. おお、まさかそんな。ええ、ええ、その呪わしい剣を持って世の前から去れ。父上、どうなされたというのです。お前の言うことなどし。それは本間にな言葉。天に誓って私はコルネリウスです。
試してみてください。過去の思い出を一から十まで答えてみせましょう。You're so naive. そいつを追い出せ。何をしている？早く。Good thing you didn't jump very high. I'm sorry, Cornelius, but that's just the way it is. But you still. You, you must go to find Velvet. She'll understand. She'll find a way. She'll stick by you and find a way to help cure you. If, and who cares if they say they can't cure you? I can't let you go. I'm sorry. 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 I'm sor